In this video, I will show you exactly how to turn women on so much that they will imagine themselves on all sorts of sexual adventures with you. You'll get example lines, screenshots. I'll show you multiple strategies from beginner to advanced, from very safe, which you can try out today, to more risky, which might need some practice. Let's start at the beginning. There is a girl you like and you're talking to her. But what specifically can you talk about so that she starts desiring you? Because some topics will make her see you as friendship material, while other topics will make her see you in a romantic light or even in an outright sexual light. And a good chunk of men that come to me struggle being sexual. And if you are one of them, then you might make the mistake of overvaluing information over emotion. And then you might miss out on opportunities to switch from getting to know her to arouse her. The good news is that you can learn this skill. I've sold it for one too many clients and today I'll share a structure with you that will allow you to turn on your dates without being overly direct, creepy or awkward. This is how we'll structure this video. First, the right mindset and this might seem boring but it's actually the most crucial part. Then, how to first introduce sexuality into a conversation beginner level, when and how to be direct with her, intermediate level, and then we'll move on to the more risky stuff to get her really aroused, advanced level. Warning, I know there's impatient guys and I want to skip to the advanced stuff, but you're going to miss the most crucial stuff and you're going to come across as creepy and do all sorts of inappropriate stuff. So please just watch the video in order. I promise it will pay off. Let's go. A perverted mind is a healthy mind. Many logical guys, they think like this. I don't know her yet, so I'll ask and answer questions and then I'll get to know her. Because you are exchanging information, not feelings. This might be a little confrontational, but you might stay on the informational topics out of an emotional reason. Fear. It's safe to talk about work, hobbies, travel, and it's scary to sexualize a conversation. But when talking about arousal, we have to realize that arousal, even sexual arousal, is inherently connected to risk. How do you feel about taking more risks? Because I know a lot of men have limiting beliefs around sexuality. That's creepy. It's wrong. You should always treat a woman like a princess. Such beliefs will prevent you from the next steps. Let me tell you, in my experience, girls love when a guy owns his sexuality. You're such a pervert. Is what my girl loves telling me with a satisfied smile on her face. So how about you and me make a deal? You keep an open mind during this video and you don't judge the information before you've seen the entire thing. How to first introduce sexuality to a conversation. Beginner level. I'll teach you a way of thinking and a technique to introduce sexuality into your conversations without being overly direct or creepy. To learn that, you need to know the four main categories of topics. I, yourself, you, the girl, he, she, they, that, third party topics, and us, you and the girl together. What kind of topic do you think is the best here? And which one is the worst? Usually it's best to avoid third person topics. Think about how a conversation about the news, a movie star, the weather, her co-workers, they will likely go nowhere. But when it comes to introducing sexuality, third person topics actually are good just because they don't involve you or her or the two of you together. And anyone who isn't new here knows what I preach. Indirect sexualization is best sexualization. For example, you might say, my friend went to the sex club in Berlin and this happened, leaving you and her out of it. They say Chick-fil-A sauce is a huge aphrodisiac, a bit of an ambiguous statement and they say that, not I. Or when I asked a girl out for coffee and she sexualized like this, let's grab coffee, gotta love some good grabbing. Hey, if you like examples of what to say, get my 10 example texts that always work, video description. If you want to take more risk and be slightly more direct, then you can go to the intermediate level. Be direct with her the indirect way. Louis, Louis, so what did you have for breakfast today? Half a large pizza reheated from yesterday. And you? Ooh la la, love leftover pizza. I had oats in fluffy chocolate milk with walnuts, blueberries, pumpkin and sunflower seeds. I knew you were one of those super clean diet, forever looking good type of people. Ha 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 ha, it's all about balance, eh? I like my bitterballa just as much as my grapes. How about you? 
I like peach just as much as melons. Ha ha ha, I totally understand. Both so good. Aha, uh -huh. she's healthy and naughty. Good to know. No third party stuff here. I'm talking about me. I like peach and melons. And I throw that out there to test the waters. And the waters are good. I totally understand. Both so good. Another example. Why not? Would love to have you over. I just have loads of stuff to do still. I just have one load to do. We'll try to fix it for tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> what? Washing machine? Or... Come on, Sarah. Stay sharp. Wanna load my peach? I'm innocent. Do you see that the sexualization still starts ambiguously? I just have to do one load. Also note that I'm talking about myself again. I just have to do one load. Talking about her is way more direct and way more risky and that brings us to what to say to make her very aroused. Advanced level. Execute this part correctly and your girl will move one hand from her phone to her panties while talking to you. But be warned, doing any of these things prematurely is a sure fire way to be a creep. The difference between her enjoying this moment and you being reported on dating apps or being sent around in a girl group chat is decided by timing. We've talked third party, we've talked first person, now it's time for more risky business. Talking about us and you. Well, you know her. You is her. There are so many ways for you to do this, but today I will guide you in future projections and dominant leading. Future projections are one of the finest flirting tools out there. You can use them in real life, you can use them online, you can use them in regular conversations, you can use them in sexual conversations. As long as you don't use them before someone is hooked on you, future projections are solid. Let's say it's a sunny summer day and you're setting up a date with a girl. Right? So it's been established that there's chemistry. You could say, I can't wait to get my hands on you and be as inappropriate as I can get away with in a public park. But it doesn't have to be something unique or fancy. Look at what this girl texted me. Most of all, I need to see you in a tan in this sun, shining. Ah, I want to be applying coconut after sun on your skin in the evening. Mysterious photo. The second technique is dominant leading and this is a very good way to sexualize the conversation because it maximizes one of the core masculine traits which is taking the lead. Especially with sexualizing it's important that you take the lead because it makes you look masculine, it makes her feel feminine and it takes the pressure away from her. Most women don't like to lead when it comes to sexualization. It's just not considered ladylike. So when you do it, she can just follow and enjoy the rush. Anyway, the difference between leading and dominant leading is that after you go first, you can also tell her what to do. Either in the present time, like commanding her to touch herself, or within your future projections, where you can paint a picture of what you would do with her but also how she would react and what she would do in turn because of your actions. B -b 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 bonus tip! Test the waters first, just like you saw me doing in the screenshot. Does she like the direction that you're going? Then continue, because as we say at Text God, you lead the race, but she sets the pace. This way you can start a sexual conversation that you can both enjoy without going over anyone's limits. And last but not least, and this is why women hate it so much when a random guy slides their DM with some sexual stuff that they didn't ask for, women will generally only appreciate your sexual efforts once you've built enough attraction and trust. So sexualization usually comes after enough attraction and trust are built. And if you're not confident that you can consistently build attraction and trust with the girls that you're talking to, then consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's free and your game gets better. Thanks for watching. Try my free lines in the video description. See you in the next one.